Hey, welcome to our another video and here I'm going to tell you how to fix Windows 11 update and restart not working. So let's get started. To do this, we have actually six methods and we'll be starting off with the easiest one. The method one is run the Windows troubleshooter. To do so, simply click Windows plus I key to open the settings and on the left pane select system and on the right pane then look for the troubleshoot option. Click on the troubleshoot and then other troubleshooters. Here, once it's loaded, click on the run button besides the Windows update. The troubleshoot for the Windows update will start running and it will detect any problem in your system and then your problem and then the problem in your system will be executed. Now, if it doesn't work, we have our method two, which is restart the Windows update services. To do so, simply click on Windows plus R key to open the run command. Here, type services.msc and click on OK. Now, once it once the windows open, scroll down and look for the Windows Update Services. Uh, windows Update, let's find Windows Update. It should be here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Windows Update, this one. And then right click on it, go for the properties. And under the general tab, look for startup type and click uh, and select automatic from the drop down options. Remember, if anything else is selected, select the automatic from the drop down option and then your start button will be highlighting. Click on start. OK, and then click on apply and OK. It will solve your problem. And if it does not also work, then simply there is method three. Run DSR, DISM and SFC command. To do so, click on Windows key, type CMD in the search bar. Click on run as administrator, give the permission as yes, and this windows will pop up here. Write the following command. The command will be dism slash online slash cleanup image slash scan health and hit the enter button. Once it once it's done, once the command is executed, type sfc slash Scan. Now it will begin scanning your system. The, your whole system will be scanned. And remember, this process might take some time. After it is completed, simply restart your PC and your problem will be fixed. I will be closing it right now because my system is fantastic right now. Now, the step four or the method four is reset Windows update components. And to do so, simply hit the Windows key. Again, type CMD in your search bar and run it as administrator. Give the permission as yes. And now you will have to type the command that I will be typing here. Don't worry, the commands will be highlighting on your screen. The commands are all typed out here. Simply hit enter. OK, your problem will be solved. Now, before proceeding to the method five, I will like to discuss the method six first because it is quite easy and short. So the method six four. So for the method six, you have to open your web browser. I use Google Chrome and I will be selecting guest mode. Obviously, you can select whatever you want. And then in the search bar, maybe in the search bar, type my not Microsoft, it's Microsoft update catalog. Hit enter and it will redirect you to this result page and simply select the first website or the first option it will redirect you to its website. And once the website appears based on your internet speed, it will take some time. And once the website appears, simply, uh, simply write Windows 11 or whatever the update you require window in the search bar and click on search. Then the update related to Windows 11 will pop up in front of you and simply select the update that you want to download and click download its latest version by clicking on the download button. You will download. Don't worry, this window will pop up and here will be there is a link update ID and all. Simply click on the link given here highlighted here. And uh, it will open your this and you can select the location wherever you want to select it. I said I say documents and then save your download will start. OK, it, it was just 13.4 MB and some of the updates here are very long. It was say 
it's like 13.4 MB and this is 911 MB. So depending on the size and then after it's done, simply locate your downloaded file and run it as administrator. Okay, your problem will be solved. Now for the final step, for the final method, it is a little crazy one, which is reset your PC. Okay, but don't worry, your file will be in your hands. To do so, simply click on the Windows Plus I key. You know, simply hit the Windows Plus I key to open the settings. And in, in here, on the left window pane, select System and then scroll down and find Recovery. Will be Recovery. Here it is. Select on the Recovery option. Here, after choosing the Recovery option, click on the Reset PC. Here it is reset pc okay and then you will be presented with two options keep your files and remove everything keep your files your files will be kept remove everything it will be a factory reset all the files apps and settings will be reset i will choose keep my files it might take some time and then how would you like to reinstall windows click uh, choose any of the two options either cloud download or local reinstall i'll be choosing right now cloud download and then additional settings the restore apps and uh, settings which uh, which came with this PC download and restore windows you can also change uh, you can also change the settings if you want you means you can go back by clicking here as well you can also change the settings by click on on change settings options okay and then uh, and then simply click on next now remember to reset your PC your bad uh, your PC should be plugged in uh, your PC should be plugged in because it is a, it might be a long process and your pre, uh, PC should not drain out of its battery. And once here my PC has a low battery percentage, once I plug in PC, the pop-up will appear, the option will appear of next or maybe uh, the pop-up will, uh, the option here will be press the reset button. Okay, the option here will be reset. Once you click that reset button, your whole PC will be reset and your problem will finally be solved thank you so much for this video well that's it for this video if you have any other opinion then you can leave in the comment section down below thank you so much